Welcome to Warriors of Business, a show where you learn about Marlboro's local business owners and how they do what they do. I came from uh, Egypt like in 1999 and I work in different pizza places and I went to school to learn English because when I came it's like I don't have any language. I finished my degree in back home for social workers but when I came here it's not easy to just like convert this is education. So I started working in a pizza business in different pizza places in Easton, in Atulboro. So after that, I got married my wife. We got Miriam and George. I personally, I grew up here. Um, I remember, like, I have pictures of myself being like just like a tiny toddler, um, just like in my, in my car seat. And I remember um, just like my parents would tell me that like customers would come in and I'd be like a little baby and I'd be laughing like on the um, tables and stuff um, and my mom and dad they've worked really really hard to be here and like I've seen it um, like it's it's real like it's like so I like I, I love this place I genuinely do I've grown up here my whole life and all I can remember is just the customers here all the time. Um, all of them would tell me just like my sister and me. They'd always tell us how they remembered us when we were growing up and that like they loved our parents. Uh, in the beginning it was hard when I came from uh, Egypt. I didn't expect that but um, I got married and then um, I support my, fa my husband I just took care of my kids in the beginning when they were um, very young and I um, sometimes when they grow up a little bit uh, I send them to school library, um, like kinder, when they start kindergarten put them in the school and go back uh, to help my husband. Um, I took some courses for English to learn English because that was uh, very difficult for me in the beginning. Even I learned um, English in, uh, in my country, in my school, but still it wasn't enough to uh, speak with people here, with a customer, to, um, to deal with them, to understand what, they, uh, what their need. So yeah, um, that, and my husband helped me a lot. We, we started from the beginning. We don't start to establish it. Actually, the Kiki and Steve and Chris, they established Marlboro House of Pizza in 1964. It used to be here at Lender Mint, and they came in Marlboro in 1964. They liked the location and they opened a pizza place. So everybody be surprised they're gonna be like successful business. Because back days there's not too many pizza places around, you know. Me and my brother, and we decided to buy the business because we like the location, we like the name. So like the, we like the name Marlboro House of Pizza. We feel like, like something, you know, famous. And like, I know my parents, like their work ethic is phenomenal, like they would go to like the restaurant or um, like restaurant depot and like other places to buy their like Product. products they would go and they'd own like they my dad he'd go and he'd spend like a good 10 minutes sorting through all the lettuce trying to find the good lettuce that's not bad it's uh, all franchise and all the company dominos babaginos babajan all this company they get like everything is coming package for them but for us, we do everything homemade. So like the chicken, we got it here, we got the fresh chicken, we clean it, we marinate it, we bread the chicken, we cook it fresh. It's a different way. Yeah, sometimes we get competition because we can beat their prices for a lot of items, but the quality also is different. You know, I don't say this quality is not good. They have a good quality too, but it's a different way. Like when you do something, you cook in a home, you know how you cook it. You buy the meat, you buy the chicken, and you cook it, and you, you, you know what you do and stuff. So it's, it's a little different. I would also not want to take over the business because all the stress that's around and dealing with like rude customers and um, like people trying, yeah, like wrong orders, those are, is, those are especially stressful. If I could, 100%, like I feel like I want to start running it from right now. I want to start running the business right now. Um, like everything is just, for me, I, I want to be as, as involved as possible. And like, I'm a 15 year old girl. That's really hard to be involved, especially since I have school and like extracurriculars and stuff. Every, every week, usually every week, end of the summer, Saturday, we have a people come in, like all the older people, like in 
people like in 1780s coming to say, oh, I wasn't coming to the store when I was in a high school in Waka building here. I said, oh, okay. Oh, how is Kiki? I said, oh, she's the best away. Like, oh, I remember that. I remember these days. I remember the street. Like, it's, it's a lot of stories. Like, I hear every week, especially in the summertime, like people go visit like families and people come into Marlboro and say, oh, I was working. I think it's like 80% from people, original people from Marlboro, they used to work in Marlboro House of Pizza. <laughs> every, most of people, if you ask a lot of, like, a lot of people over the age like 50 and up, most of them work in Marlboro House of Pizza when they was young. I, I like Marlboro. I, you know, I, I came, I used to live in uh, Easton before, I lived in uh, Norton before, uh, Taunton before, but Marlboro is different. Like, it's a city, but it's like country style town, you know, like, you can know all the family, you know, I know the old families, the old generation, like two generations now or like one generation since I came. And I, I like Marlboro, you know. Marlboro is like very, very nice people. So like safety, or the police is very good here. The fire department is really good. Mayor Arthur is really, really nice guy. It's, it's, he did a lot of change in the city. The old Marlboro police and Marlboro city workers, the DBW, and uh, I don't want to forget anyone. All of them is like help Allah, Allah. And they always support us, they always coming to buy food from us and you know, that's helping like a small business. And it's, it's really, really nice uh, to city, you know, it's, it, I don't have any complaint, you know, it's really good. Thanks for watching Warriors of Business. Stay tuned for more episodes. If you're a local business owner in Marlboro and want to be on our show, email spencergeary at wmctv.com.